guys uh, in the previous video I have shown you how to configure the mlag between the leaf 1 and leaf 2 so now we will see how this uh, failover scenarios work uh, with the mlag uh, in place so in this topology uh, I have another leaf cluster leaf 3 and 4 that also I have created a mlag between them now we will uh, try to ping from server 10 to server 20 that is from 10 10 11 to 10 10 112 both are in vlan uh, 112 so we need to extend this vlan in port channel uh, 4 and also on the spine facing interfaces also in the spine and uh, same thing on the the leaf switches also let's verify it from the server 10 uh, we have enabled the uh, vlan 112 for port channel 4 on leaf 1 also we have enabled it show vlan for this particular vlan 112 where we are trying to do the ping it is enabled on eth 3 4 port channel 4 and 10 which is nothing but uh, these interfaces port channel 4 is for the server and uh, 10 port channel 10 is the class inter chassis link and uh, 3 and 4 towards the spine that also enabled we'll check on uh, leaf 2 so leaf 2 also it is enabled on 3 4 port channel 4 and 10 so on spine we don't have that vlan so we will enable that vlan 112 we'll go to the interface uh, see how many interfaces you have 2 3 4 and 5 2 to 5 switch port access vlan 112 so you can see we have enabled in all those ports so same thing i think uh, we need to do in spine 2 as well the interface 2 to 5 then switch port access vlan 112 is enabled so on leaf 3 the port 112 is already there on 3 4 and PO4 let's check on leaf 4 so leaf 4 also show VLAN so the VLAN is there on port 3, 4, port channel 4 and port channel 10 it's on uh, this EDH 3, 4, port channel 10 and port channel 4 and server 20 I think we already have that enabled on port channel 4 for detailed okay. and in leaf 3 we can see the m lag is already there it's active with its peer 4 Now I'm going to do the ping from uh, server 10 uh, towards server 20 and we will see uh, what are the ports the traffic is going and when we shut how it is getting um, uh, redirected to another port.
say I'll give some 10,000 ping so that it goes continuously. Now check the interface stats on leaf one. So I'm using the command watch one show interface counters. So it will check the interface counters every one second on leaf one, both the incoming and outgoing traffic. The incoming, it's coming on uh, ETH6, which is nothing but your incoming interface from the server. And uh, the traffic goes out on, let's see it is going out on uh, ETH3, the mode traffic, that is your port that is connected to the spine one. And the return traffic uh, also coming on ETH3, that is from the spine one to leaf one and it goes out on ETH6. Now I'm going to shut ETH3 and see whether that is shifting to ETH4 or it is going towards uh, uh, your port channel 10. The incoming traffic still coming on ETH6. Uh, it is going over the ETH4, the outgoing interface. this incoming you can see ETH4 is increasing now so the traffic is using the ETH4 interface so I'm going to shut down the turn also and see how it goes the traffic is still running So, that, so you can see uh, there is no traffic, uh, you know, on ETH 3 and 4. The incoming traffic uh, we will still see coming on ETH 6. So now the traffic is uh, coming to leaf 1 on port 6, that is uh, this interface ETH 6. And on ETH3 and 4, we don't see anything going out. You can see ETH3 and ETH4, there is no traffic going out. But the traffic is going out on ETH2, which is nothing but your uh, inter uh, chassis link, that is your port channel 10. This also you can see. That is uh, the traffic coming to ETH6. Since uh, 3 and 4 are down, it is going via the um, inter chassis link and goes to leaf 2. And on leaf 2, you can see the traffic is coming on the incoming direction on port channel 10. And uh, it is sending the traffic out of uh, ETH 3. That is your uh, spine facing interface. And uh, the written traffic also comes and the traffic is sent out of your... Uh, uh, port channel 10 that is the traffic coming back to ETH leaf 2 and it is sending out of port channel 10 and the traffic is not going out of uh, leaf 2 uh, ETH 6 it is going towards the port channel 10 goes to leaf 1 and then goes to ETH 6 so we can see that uh, here on leaf 2 the traffic is sent out of uh, your uh, port channel 10 and uh, the traffic is not increasing on ETH6. You can see it is increasing on uh, your uh, ETH2, which is nothing but your uh, port channel 10 interface. And on leaf 1, the traffic is uh, going out on ETH6. So the incoming traffic comes to ETH6. It goes, it is not going out of your uh, ETH3 and 4 which are spine connecting ports 
it is going out of your uh, port channel 10 goes to leaves 2 and the return traffic also comes in uh, leaf uh, 2 towards uh, leaf 1 on the interchases link and then uh, it is going out of eth2 eth6 towards the server so it's like uh, it goes from uh, server to leaf 1 then leaf 1 to leaf 2 and uh, towards the spine and from spine it comes to leaf 2 then over the cluster port and then it uh, comes back uh, to the server via the same ETH6. It can come via ETH6 on leaf 2 itself. Um, we can try that with multiple pings. So now, okay, now, now this the ping session you can see on leaf 2 on ETH6 the traffic is going out. So basically, what we achieve with this MLAC is that uh, whether this leaf one, the spine facing port or the server facing port, any interface that is going down, uh, the end to end pin will still work. It will utilize all the available path, including the inter chassis uh, link that is uh, port channel 10. Now, let us say if I completely shut down this leaf one, everything will go under uh, leaf two itself. I am going to shut the ETH6 interface here. Interface six. Shut this. So I have shut down. Uh, I have shut down your uh, ETH. 3 and 4 which is uh, spine facing and uh, the server facing now everything will go under your leaf 2 itself that is i shut down these 3 4 towards spine 1 and 2 and uh, eth 6 now from the server when i initiate the ping it will go only via your eth 6 and uh, either 3 or 4 then return traffic also will be in eth 6 so in the incoming traffic you can see eth 6 and also the outgoing traffic via ETH6. So that is how you achieve the, uh, the node level and the link level redundancy using the MLAC configuration. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that when I upload a new video you will get an alert.